February 20, 2022 is a Sunday. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Boston. Dress for cold. The temperature today should reach up to 33 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 24%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Not many clouds. We've got strong wind at about 17 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be cold with scattered clouds. Tuesday is going to be cold with moderate rain. Wednesday is going to be cold with light rain. Thursday is going to be cold with clear sky. Friday is going to be cold with snow. Saturday is going to be cold with clear sky. No weather alerts at the moment. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. In other Massachusetts news, Apple re-releases Oscar-nominated CODA in theaters for free. Audiences will get another chance to watch CODA, the first Apple original movie nominated for an Oscar for Best Picture. In theaters. For our next story, Eversource's SQ4 earnings and revenues misestimates. Eversource Energy S reported fourth quarter 2021 operating earnings of 91 cents per share, which lagged the Zacks Consen. SUS estimate of 93 cents by 2.2%. For our next story, if you have dog treats from this recall, stop feeding them to your pet immediately. People can get infected with salmonella without eating contaminated food. All it takes is handling tainted products that contain traces of the bacteria for a person to develop symptoms. Next up, the great greenwashing scam, PR firms face reckoning after spinning for big oil. This week a peer-reviewed study confirmed what many have suspected for years, major oil companies are not fully backing you. P their clean energy talk with action. In other Massachusetts news, how Gen Z baristas are spreading the Starbucks unionization effort. Joseph Nappi is a 20-year-old Starbucks barista and Cleveland State University political science major. He's also learning how to be a union organizer. My family is a union family, Nappi says. In other Massachusetts news, Whitney Ellsworth. Whitney Ellsworth drives up in his early 1950s Citroen, the French black classic you see in old French movies, Super Exotic. In Cambridge, Massachusetts, and says, want to go for a ride? A blonde boy. For our next story, anti-Asian violence spiked in the U.S. during the pandemic, especially in blue state cities. It's widely known that Asian Americans felt and were persecuted during the pandemic. But the extent of this violence, an I.T.S. uneven geographic distribution across the U.S. That's it Massachusetts. Have a good one. 1. To help support improvement of our show, please click subscribe. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather, TM, API, which is made available here under the Open Database License, ODBL.